Okay, good everyone. We are back in Bravely Default 2. Last time we met... Yeah, we met all the characters. Let's well, not all of them, but... We met a load of characters, what I should say. And um, we learned the What's basics of playing a game. Uh, turn order during combat. The yellow bar underneath each character's HP and P bar is known as the turn gauge. When it's full, that means your character's turn is ready to come around. The speed at which it feels can be affected by all kinds of factors. For example, the character's speed stat and the weight of their equipment. The actions a character took in their previous turn. Status effects that either slow down or speed up a character. The status of your ally's turn gauge should therefore only be taken as a rough guide as to who will act, act next. Enemies don't have a visible turn gauges, but you will see a warning sign next to any foe whose turn is about to come around. It's best to try and deal with anyone marked in this way as an urgent priority. Be aware, however, that these warning signs are just a rough guide, and some willy foes will have. Sorry. And some wily foes will have some surprises up their sleeves. Exploiting vulnerabilities. If you want to succeed against various enemies you'll, have, you'll encounter, you'll need to understand how best to exploit their vulnerabilities. Doing so enables you to deal up to 1.3 times the damage you would otherwise. There are two types of vulnerability elements, weapon types. There are a number of ways to work out an enemy's vulnerabilities. But one of the easiest is to buy a magnifying glass at your local shop. In fact, buy a few. They'll just make battling life a whole lot easier. You can check the vulnerabilities when anyone says you previously examined using the battle info command during the fight. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the princess has been taken hostage and we're gonna, probably going to be employed to try and help. Get her back. Um, right, so who, who? Adele, okay. Adele, you can use examine. Yeah. Uh, so, aquatic, physical, and magic, I guess. Um, oh, I missed. Uh, let's try using thunder on them. Both. They're immune to lightning. Okay, good to know. Alright, let's some, get some BP back for her. Maybe, okay. So this means he'll attack twice, yeah? Why do you attack four times? Or maybe, maybe that was twice, maybe he just... Okay, so I don't like fire. Alright, you've got... So attack that once, and attack this one twice. Oh my god! Underdog bonus. Interesting. Seth learns, I didn't see that, it disappeared too quickly. Items acquired, none. Alright, let's um... Have a look, what new items? We've got a broadsword. Which would overload Seth. We have a staff, which. A wand carved from a branch imbued with wizardry. Man robe. Bronze bangle, which uh, boosts the wearer's HP. Okay. Dwarf tooth. Okay, so that's just a sellable thing. Let's have a look at the jobs and stuff. Hang on one second. Okay. Right, jobs. 
Right, I see. So, oh, we can actually make him a black mage as well. Hmm. What about... All right, so we keep... Okay, yeah, so let, let's keep... Uh, let, 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 let's uh, set this as the main job. Set this as your sub job. Oh, look, it changes his look as well. <laughs> but do we need two black mages? Not really. But I think for now we'll keep it. Yeah. And then for her... Let's have a look at her costume if we set it. Her as a black mage. Oh, nice. Okay. Right, she can go back to being a freelancer. Set this as a sub job. Uh, okay, so equipment. Interesting, so I couldn't be able to have a dagger in my right hand. Uh, my left, sorry. No, no, yeah. What, what am I on about? I, I am adjusting the right hand. So maybe we give the knitted cap to somebody? If I can... Ah, yeah, she doesn't have anything. The leather cap, sorry. Nice. Tunic's not as good. What's not coming out of that fucking menu, you idiot? Um, there will be a lot of me getting angry with myself because I pushed the wrong buttons all the bloody time. Right. Passive abilities. Oh yeah, okay, we already know about that one. Speciality, regenerative default. Okay, so when he does default, he regenerates something. Probably his HP, I would imagine. So, at the moment, he's currently overloaded. Why is that? Is that because of his job? I think it was, yeah. His job made him overloaded. Okay. Right, so next head back to Hello Senior. Right, okay. I'm gonna do a couple more battles. Right, we know they don't like we know they don't like um power attack. Yeah, look at that. What about your attack? Not bad. And then I can't imagine Blizzard would do much against them. Uh, you can just attack. And so can you. Oh, really? Um, attack. There we go. I'll drink to that. Right, so, Seth's almost level 2. Adele's level 5. Elvis is level 3. Okay. Got two potions, nice. Oh, there you are. PG is definitely currency. Who are you? A couple of tips for you ever against multiple enemies first. Try to whittle down their num. Try to whittle their numbers down as quickly as you can. After all, the fewer of them there are, the fewer attacks you'll have flying back in your direction. Focusing your efforts on eliminating one foe out of time is significantly proven to reduce injury and untimely demise. Ultimately, uh, second. Take a careful look at how much health each enemy has and weakness says you might be able to exploit. Step back and think for a moment rather than rushing in swinging and you'll save yourself time and bandages in the long run. Okay. 
Let's do this. Allied advantage. Your party is feeling brave. Whoa! I wouldn't. What's Jesus. Gain any advantage. Approach monster from behind in your beginning. Ensue in the battle with an advan advantage. Conversely, if a monster manages to sneak up on you from behind, they start with an advantage. In they'll start with an advantage instead. This can make all the difference to your ch chances. Try to make sure you're always one with the upper hand. Right, okay. Uh, let's examine the Shag... the Saha Jin. Yeah! Alright. Um, let's default. You let's Yeah, let's brave him up and use magic fire against all of them. And again. I'm rinsing through his MP, but I don't mind. They're defaulting. Uh, let's attack this one because it has the least health. Okay, what's the plan? Yeah! Right, that one's gone. Yeah, that one's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Whatever. Oh dear. No, still standing. Yeah, don't say that. You're... There you go. There you go. Let's judge that one. <laughs> hey, try this. Oh, that's the stuff. I'm back in business. All right, let's do fire again against them all. Sorcery. Here I go. Right, let's have a look. 48, 72, 100. And... Let's go with the 48 one. There you go. No big deal. Take it. Here I go. So why did he get free attacks there? Did he have free BP I guess? Uh you've got a BP, so let's brave you up and attack twice. Oh. Oh thankfully it does okay. actually just What's the plan? attack one or the other, that's good. Oh that would have been a waste of my brave. Uh. Gonna brave you up twice. Oh, actually, I didn't need to do that. How do I... Can I cancel my brave? I can. RT. That's what it means. Okay. Right. I think I'm starting to understand the combat a bit better. Right, let's use... some items. I don't, don't really want to use a tent. That'd be a waste on you. Alright, that'll do for now. Oops, I was meant to slash it, but never mind. Oh my god, what is that? Um... An orc. Guess it's my turn. Right, uh, he is weak to fire and uh, ranged, I guess. What does it actually mean, bow and arrow, rather than ranged? Because they've got axes next to them. So if somebody had an axe, okay. Right. Uh, who are you? You are Seth. Okay. Uh, black magic, fire. All of them. Almighty flame, right on the money. Oh, what's next? I wonder. Fire. That's all of them. Here I go. He can have black magic as well. Fire against all of them. Get out of our way. Oh, did I hit okay, her? What's the plan? Okay, her, she's crap at black magic. That's good to know. How do you like this? 
Oh, he's crap as well, actually. You rang? Okay, but it's yours is good, your black magic. Yeah. Okay, right, let's, let's just do some normal attacks now with, uh... Whoa! Okay. See if you can take... Yeah, nice. Oh no, you hit... He's defaulting. So let's... If I do one attack... Actually, you're doing both because that kill this one at the front as well. I was going to do just one attack one of them to see if it did more damage, but I want to get rid of. Here I go. Sorry. There we go. Personally. <laughs> I'll drink to that. New powers, huh? Learned divining rod. That's a. Actually, I want to change. Oh no, you use Freelancer, okay. How do I... Oh, there we go. No, I wanna... What? What's all this? I wanna know what Divining Rod is. Abilities, that's probably the one. Oh, here we go. Details. Displays the number of unopened tre treasure chests nearby. Oh, okay. So can we... How do we use... How do... how do we use it? I don't actually understand how we use it. Hmm. <laughs> Allied advantage. Your party. Whoa! There's four of them. It's my turn. Uh, let's brave it up and attack twice. Breathe it up and attack twice. This one. There we go. Let's see. That magic. Uh, what was their weakness? There's. Oh, it's just a staff. So. Yeah, because of Elvis isn't good at physical damage. He doesn't do much. Brave it up him. Attack this one twice. There we go. Here I go. So I could technically brave it up now. I wonder if that'll carry over to the next battle. If it does, then poo. If not, then. There's no reason not to do that. Oh, wait, it shows me anyway. It says 18. Oh, I wasn't looking. What did I want run into? Ah, these, okay. Guess it's my turn. Alright, weaknesses. Sword and lightning. So hit the goblin with the sword. Oh no, I've got dagger, haven't I? Right, let's see. Okay. That was a piece of cake. Yeah, I may as well keep doing that because it seems to go back to zero every time I go into, into combat. Hawks. There's a wolf over there. Let's let's um see about attacking this wolf. Ah oh, crap! I didn't push X again in time. 
It's quite hard to know when to do it. Whoa! That looked pretty cool. Um... Fire and daggers, by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're, they're vulnerable to daggers as well. Interesting. Um, just fire on the both. There we go. I'm amazing. Oh yeah. Level up for Seth, nice. Elvis has almost gained a job level, as has Adele, I think. Yeah, look at that, oh, so close. So we could have technically put her divining rod on as well. Okay, right, well anyway, um, I'm going to ignore the orcs for now. Let's carry on, carry on with the story. What I'll probably do, ah, is I'll, um, I'll probably show you whenever I fight something new, and it looked like this. And then any normal fights I won't, I won't bother showing anymore. I'm, that might be the case, it might not, I don't know, it depends. Um, right, so... Examine that, please. The rat bit. Uh, rat bits are weak to water, they're a beast. Okay. There we go, nice. <laughs> Adele learns forage. I didn't see what Elvis learned. Let's have a look. Not that. Oh, actually, yeah, that, 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 Poison, okay. What does Adele's do? Forest. Search for items. The items found will depend on the user's job level. Okay. Hmm. Presuming like search the enemy for items, perhaps. Help! S somebody help me! You okay? What's the matter? Uh, a horrible man and woman took me, but then an old man and another woman came and saved me, but then the man got attacked and now he's really badly hurt. We'd better go help him out. Will you show us where he is? <laughs> that was a lot of words that <laughs> kid just said in short space of time. Oh, here he is. Whoa. Are you okay? Wait a second. You're the guy from before. <sighs> Ah, uh, greetings, young seafarer. You're hurt. We need to get you seen to right away. <sighs> Tis not. But the princess... What happened to Gloria? Is she okay? The fiends took her. <sighs> Never mind that now. Let's get you to bed. You're right. Come on. <sighs> well, I'll be jiggled. <laughs> so you're the famous Sir Sloan, eh? <laughs> Lady Emma told me all kinds of wild tales about you, my man. Oh, and how is dear Emma? Is she well? I, uh... I'm afraid she passed on six months ago or so. I see. Thou wert her apprentice. 
Time truly does fly. Why, I can recall when the good lady studied under another herself. But forgive me, much as I would love to spend the day in fond reminiscence, alas, there are more pressing matters at hand. I must away and wrest her highness from the clutches of those unconscionable <coughs> rogues. Sorry, but you won't be resting anyone from anything in your condition. I'd be surprised if you could rest yourself out of bed. But I must! Well, how about I join you? You are kind indeed, young sir, but I cannot allow it. The rogues in question are in possession of an asterisk. Well, that's all the more reason to go deal with them, right? Besides, I owe you after you help me out back there at the beach. But good sir, I... I'm coming too. If there's an asterisk involved, I'm there with bells on. Thine aid is appreciated, but... Might I ask why the asterisk would interest thee so? Oh aye, ask away, pal. It's because of this old book, see? I found it when I was going through Lady Emma's stuff. I couldn't read a word about it when I first picked the thing up. But wave an asterisk near it, and the gobbledygook starts making sense. And I'm nothing if not nosy, so I set out on a quest to find enough of these special wee stones to read the whole thing. Intriguing. If I can find another asterisk and help your pal into the bargain, then everyone's a winner. Great, then we should leave right away. Though it weighs heavy on my conscience to enlist the aid of strangers, I fear I have little choice. You have my thanks. Her Highness has been taken to an abandoned building north of the town. Let us make haste! So Sloane is now accompanying the party. Occasional companions. You will sometimes be joined by other characters during the course of your adventure. You won't be able to control any such guest companions, but they'll be able to help out with the odd attack and healing spell. You can use tents out in the field at save points and dungeons using one will restore all your HP and MP and cure any status elements. Ailments. So it's a good idea to take a few along with you when you're setting out on your next leg of your adventure. You can buy them at all good shops, so be sure to stock up. Collecting asterisks will enable you to change your party members' jobs. Okay, yeah. Freelancer, adapt at using all sorts of equipment with special abilities to make an adventure easier. Excels at offensive magic that, and can bring destructive power to bear over a wide area. Care must be taken not to run out of, of MP. Uh, rest, that'll be 80. Well, that's better than 270 of using a tent, so sure. Alright, thank you very much. First we run into Lady Emma's old pal and then we stumble across an asterisk. The plot's thickening sure enough. And now we get to go and rescue the princess. How heroic we are. Hello? Thank you. The fiends are to be found in the abandoned building north of town. Beware, asterisk make formidable foes. But I have a plan, so I shall need have need of your your aid if it is to succeed. Oh, this party chat. Are you sure you're okay? This not lad. Thy concern is indeed, but far from necessary. Really, but. He's one old tough war horse, huh? He's got to be hurting pretty bad. Why, the way he's strutting about the place, you'd never know he was flat on his behind until not so long ago. Wait, I think he might be even smiling. Permit an old man this indulgence, friend. It's merely that the four of us adventuring together in this manner, it brings back fond memories of old times. The four of us, eh? Hey, wait, I get you. But I'm forgetting 
but I am forgetting myself. Princess Gloria remains in peril. We must away. Yeah, I'd better get moving, huh? Alrighty, let's shake a leg. What? I can only pray I will not impede these fine youngsters' progress. Wait, are you sure you're okay? Never better, lad. Never better. Now come. Time awaits for no man. Uh, right. Okay, so I can't seem to, like, interact with... Yeah, I can't interact with Sir Sloan. Fair enough. Right, all saved up. Uh, let's go do some battles and then we'll go up north. Uh, I already see some things I've not seen before. Oh shit, go away. All right, we'll, we'll attack the wolf first. Whoa! Okay then. Jesus. Huh. I'm going all in. Indeed, I am. Here I go. Let's say I don't see the point in not braving up if um. Oh, did you underestimate us? If it just resets every battle. Um, beastly Fang, what is that? Oh, mysterious book. An arcane tone that Elvis is determined to decipher. Stardust deals non-elemental magic damage to all enemies. Collectible resource, the sizable fang of a ferocious wild creature. I didn't go to the shop. Um, right, right. Let's um, okay, beat whatever this thing is up and then we'll go back to the shop. Oh, there's a rabbit there as well. We go. goes. Oh! They mean to default, so I was meant to put up, huh? this one. Uh, examine. Yeah. Fresh fork thing. Yeah. Arrow. Coming, get it. Uh -huh. Guess it's my turn. Okay. Whoa. Wow, I didn't die. <laughs> that Sloan is just like crazy powerful. I'm just getting started. Elvis leveled up. He's doing a finger gun by the looks of it. Right, let's have a look. Um, I, I guess when they level up, it's just like their stats go up. Attributes, that's the one. All right, he's got a weight of 12. So we could give him something in the left hand. Um... Do we have anything? No. Okay. Uh, what about... Hmm. I think we might sell the tunic simply because... Oh, it was a mana robe, not a man robe. Um, it would overload... Oh! I oh, know it does actually take the things down as well. Hmm. What about... Uh, let's take her stand. Right, yeah, we'll sell it. But right, let's go back into the store and sell some stuff and buy some tents and stuff. Although, should we sell it? I mean, it's only worth 20. We could keep it in case we get another person who has something worse on it. Yeah, sure. Alright, well let's buy some tents. Jesus, that's like half our money already. We need it though. 
Right, let's go. Actually, let's talk to you. Uh, do you have anything? Nothing of worth. Right, let's go. Hmm, do I want to do more battling or should I carry on? I think I carry on with the story for now. And then I can do some battling between parts, perhaps. I got off. Uh, whoa, what is that? That looks crazy. Oh, look, there's a... Hmm, let's get the treasure chest at least. There's no way we're losing this one. Wow. Whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's loan just... This is a big one, did you? A nasty surprise emerges from the tree. No! The mimic. Oh, it's just rabid. <laughs> oh, actually, no, he should not do that. Black magic. Fire. Eat sorcery! Sorcery! Oh, another one beats you There we go. Seth learns forage. Many ether obtained. So what does forage do? Search for items. These items found will depend on the user's job level. Um, okay. What's this? Oh, is it going to be like a fast travel place, perhaps? Well, I'll, um, if I remember, I'll, I'll cut out some fights from now on. Right, what does this symbol mean? Ah, it's loading into a new zone, okay. Sorry, but I can't let you pass without permission from the Prime Minister Horton. I'll have to ask you to turn back. Radio. Okay. So I've done quite a few fights now. Not not many. I'd say about three more. Um, and I think we're ready to move on. Um, let's see about getting any um, chests though. That's one over there. Those things look like bloody, um, I can't remember what they call them now, in um, Final Fantasy. We've got the the nasty here, things. I can't remember. But yeah, I mean, uh, that slime just does that, okay, then. and then uh, I just uh, keep using my brave points up. There's no... Uh, I mentioned about a billion times now, but there's no reason not to. Did you see that? I'm amazing. Got some dwarf tooth, apparently. What are they? Oh, they're not new, so we've had them before, apparently. Um, what do the mini ethers do? 60 MP to target, nice. So we could use one of those on Elvis, but he doesn't need it just yet. Okay, so that's the house that we've got to go to. Who are these people? Yeah, you think? Probably not, but... What's the plan? I'm going all in. Same as always. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm amazing. Antidote times one. That's nice. Right. You can never have too many tents with you. You're going off adventuring outside. I've known folks who've rushed off. Yeah, okay, we get the idea. A uh, little bird tells me that monsters can't cope with healing magic. Oh. Healing them actually hurts them. So a bit like the zombies, I guess. Uh, before we 
Jose, let's get this. Some money. Exactly enough for a tent. Oh, look, there's a bee drill over there. Alright, what are you? Oh my god, then there's multiple and a bee drill at the back. Jesus. Ow. Thanks, Sir Sloan. Right, okay. okay I'm all set. Right, first I want you to examine this. Then I want you to examine that. And then I want you to attack... This. Yeah. Right. Oh, chew. Oh, chew. Oh, my God. Best. Okay, what's the plan? Uh, the plan is... Use all of our braves up, uh, and then let's search for an item. But oh, we're doing it on ourselves. Don't really understand what. We'll give it a go, and then um, attack. Mermaid scale. Hmm. Uh, right, so fire seems to be a common thing that they're afraid of, so let's do that. Oh my god. Oh, nice. I see. Right. So our... Our bar filled up completely, which is where we would normally have a turn, but because we're in the minus... Oh, shit. Thanks, Ursuline. But whilst we have first lane with us, I think we should just do even more battles. I'm up, huh? Okay. Let's attack that once and then all of this. Underdog bonus. I don't understand why we get the underdog bonus, but I don't mind either way. Oh, actually, maybe it's due to our level. Perhaps our level's really low. Yeah, we're both level 4, whereas Adele's level 5. Hmm. Right, well, I'm going to do some more battle battles and then, um, say, yeah, I'll cut them out for you, if I remember. Okay, we've got a new item. The Wilt Lily. The flower of a plant monster that spreads disease and pestilence. Lovely. Alright, all saved up. I, I'm wondering, how does the fighting actually work in this in terms of, like, the levels of the monsters? I wonder if, um... Perhaps they level with us. I wonder. Right, both Elvis and Adele went up a level in their jobs. So, we can now do Lunar Power powered for Elvis during the night. Magical attacks, evasion and luck are increased and 4% of the MP restored each turn. Okay. Do we have to cast that? I don't really understand. No. Uh, and Adele got Dungeon Master. And that applies all terrain inflicted damage. Okay. So. No wonder. Okay. 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was meant to go to a Dell. So it says it costs one, but what I don't understand is it costs one what? Hmm. Because I don't see any sort of limit anywhere. Hmm. I'm probably being an idiot, but as usual, but hmm. Watch out, guys. Oh, I wondered if that tree was something. It was. <laughs> um, woody. Okay. And then just attack this one. Apparently it's weak to water. That's unusual for a, a tree, but all right. Oh, shit. Okay. He killed it outright. That's, that's right. I'll take that. Uh, kill this thing off. Yeah, there you go. Oh crap, I think I just got back attacked. Ready, everyone? Although our BP still seems to be at zero rather than minus one, so perhaps not. Is this another monster? Rare monsters, you occasionally come across certain rare breeds of monsters when wandering around the world. They're much stronger than their fellow creatures and wading into battle with one unprepared can be a very bad idea. So when you spot one, make sure you're good and ready before you take it on and don't forget to save first. Uh, it was a good job my my sword attack didn't connect there. Right, let's attack it. Let's see what this is. We're in for a real battle here. Oh my god. No way. It's doing a thousand damage each. Is this it? Well, there we go. There's our first death. Jesus. Game over. And just back to the main menu. Okay. Good job we just saved it. Well, let's run the fuck away from that thing. Jesus. We obviously come back later to take that thing on. Oh, it's not even there. Oh, that's annoying. I hope it respawns at some point. And we haven't just... A nasty surprise measure from the chest. And we haven't just, like, lost we won't be going a rare battle. You. Okay. Wizard's Rod attained. That's... Uh, okay, so if we go to... Oh, good. It's just all around better. A staff specifically designed for black mages. With hundreds of battles under its be their belts. Oh, okay. Um, so minus one to the speed. Although I don't see a speed stat here. Oh, it is there. It, yeah, it's just hidden by the tooltip. Okay. Right, I think we've leveled up enough. Let's let's carry on for now. Um. What the fuck? There's like a pony that's got blue fire. Oh, that's weird. Like a Rapidash, but with uh, blue flame instead of red. Right, all saved up. Let's go. So what's the plan? Princess Gloria is being held hostage, right? Indeed she is, fair maiden. It will be necessary for me to enter alone and begin negotiations, lest the brigands suspect foul play. However, at a suitable juncture, I shall create a distraction allowing your merry band to swoop in and rescue her highness. A distraction, eh? And how do you plan to do that? With this. Tis a sorcerer's stone that upon firm impact emits a most dazzling light. I shall cry out by the light of the sun, and by these words shalt thou know to enter. Oh, it's a flashbang. The princess knoweth well this phrase. Tis one we have long since settled upon, and by it shall know to close our eyes full tight. Nice. 
So we just wait for the signal, then it's go time, right? Precisely. I shall be counting on you. To fight or to flee, there are a couple of ways of finding out if a monster you're facing can be easily dealt with. Look for a red glow around your opponent before battle. Note whether you can earn an underdog bonus after battle. What? Uh, both of these mean you're a little underpowered to be facing that opponent and might be better off avoiding them in the future or leveling up before facing them. Now, if your opponent tries to run away before battle, in this case you're overpowered and should probably move on to more challenging passes. Okay. Right, let's save up. I won't let me. Can I escape? Or get out, rather. Okay. Right, all saved up. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to end this part. Um, next part, we've got a plan to free the princess now. We're going to flashbang the enemies and uh, grab her, I guess. So um, I'm going to do that in the next part. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day, everyone. Hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.